Hello and welcome back. My name is Mac and this is the uh, let's play of uh, John Tiller's uh, the campaign series uh, released from Matrix Games. We are playing uh, East Front here and uh, we are in a halfway through the battle and um, we have stumbled upon some considerable forces here from the uh, Russians. It's October 1941, uh, Operation Typhoon, the last uh, ditch effort to capture Moscow by the year's end of 1941. So we have been awarded, or I mean, we have been uh, the commanding uh, the third SS Panzer Corps elements from that um, corps. We're at the battalion size level. Um, we got uh, two complete infantry companies uh, motorized and uh, Complete company of um, Panzer IV, uh, Panzer IV's E's, yeah. And um, we are about to make an assault here on all these objective areas. And the Russians have arrived with a lot of units now, being able to spot them here. He did move a, a, a forward group of uh, a whole company of the T-34. Model 41s so that came into this village and, and um, secured it. And we started to attack it, and we've taken out a lot of them, and we've lost one Panzer in the process. There is a platoon left here, uh, still guarding this objective. We had some wicked rocket support from uh, the the corps. Uh, the corps have awarded us with some good rocket artillery. Uh, we do have uh, a lot of headquarters units that were came in the map uh, quite far away from the bulk of my forces they're catching up and trying to supply the units we do have a little straggling uh, recon motorcycle unit up here that's, that's scouting around and see what we can find he's captured this objective here and he's got forces here and he is uh, moving down with a lot of stuff here my uh, Panzer 2F scout platoon here has spotted a lot of units coming down here He's got armored cars here. There's a field gun positioned here. Mortar that looks like a mortar mortar platoon, a machine gun platoon. He's got trucks driving down here, all loaded up with infantry. Now that looks like a very promising target for me. I do have this motorcycle platoon here, moving up. I'm gonna probably deploy him here and use them as a buffer zone here to hold them off. Right, so let's dive into the action here and see what happens. Let's have a look at the... Yeah, I haven't shown... You can go to victory here and see how well you're doing. So, this is not a scenario. This is um, just... Um, uh, it's a random battle, so you don't have a certain amount of points you have to come up to to be able to um, get uh, these major, minor, or minor, or major victories. It just says that we have... Uh, the Allies have lost six uh, supply losses at the total point of 36 uh, points loss. We've lost one Panzer, as we know, and that Panzer is worth four points. So at the moment, we are holding one objective of worth 50 points. He's holding the rest. It says we have 82 points. It says Axis major victory. That's probably not correct because he's holding all the objectives here. So uh, at this point, we are are probably on the losing end but that will change fairly quickly once we start capturing these objectives so let's have a look let's have a look at the strength losses here quickly right so he's lost five t-34s now tanks and one here that's the command tank so he could have maybe only one t-34 left here I'm not sure so we'll see what we're gonna do right I'm kind of tempted to assault this hex actually. I do have two fresh, uh, have very high assault, assault values. I'm actually going to do that because I think he's only got one tank left, and the odds of him defending, very slim. So we're going to take both these um, uh, rifle platoons. We're going to assault, and what you do is you have to be next to the unit to assault. So I double clicked and I took both, and I right clicked, and you see these arrows. That means these guys are committed to assault in this hex here. Now, you can encircle an opponent to prevent him from escaping, because if we get um, assault results that says that the uh, unit is retreating, if they have a, a possibility of retreating, they can never re retreat towards an, an enemy. 
but if he can still retreat this way here. So what we want to do is assault from different sides here. So we're going to move this tank here. And we're going to assault with this tank as well. I'm going to move my command tank up. Let's see. Here, maybe. And uh, we're going to commit that one to the assault as well. So we have two more tanks here. Kind of tempted to move. Let's see here. What's this? They're both are low on ammo as well. He's got a bunch of stuff coming here. I want to take these anti-tank guns out as well. So let's see. These two are assaulting. They're assaulting. Let's see what happens. Just press the hand grenade. Yeah. Okay. So there was he was eliminated, and we took no casualties. Defenders overrun. So we just really assault, mass assaulted this lone T-34. I think there was only one left. Let's have a look here. Yeah. I've destroyed a complete company of T-34s now. Seven tanks. So there's only one left. And uh, the odds of him defending off all these panzers and uh, about 100 men was very slim. So we did that. Good job. Now, let's start moving some units here. Do we have anything arrived here? Nothing. All right. So left to right. Okay, what we got here? We've got these. Uh, this is the motorized company here. They're going to be moving up here. Now I know he's moving in forces here, so we've got to be quick to deploy here. So movement, and I can deploy in this village here. That's great, so let's do that. Right, good stuff. Uh, might want to move them all the way up, actually. Let's get them all up there. These uh, truck, trucks, uh, infantry carried with trucks here. So let's get one truck here, maybe. Good stuff. Okay, I got this 20 millimeter AA gun here. They're gonna move up in this orchard. These trucks are just gonna retreat back. No point keeping them in the front lines. But these trucks are empty, but we do have an SS machine gun squad. They're gonna be moving along this road here. We're gonna need that. Anti-tank guns will move into that village. Right, we do have an SS machine gun platoon here. Start capturing these objectives. Actually, I'm going to move this one up in this, this good place for that machine gun to be. has a good field of fire here on these advancing troops. But these guys are going to move into that heavy... That's a rough terrain there. Got good defense. Right, my rockets there. Okay, so this um, motorcycle platoon here has uh, captured that objective. A bit exposed here. He's got an engineer platoon there. I'm going to move these guys one step up here, actually. They're going to be laying down fire on these uh, tank guns here. Trucks, HQs, right. So here we have the panzers. Let's save some ammo on these and move them into these villages here. They're going to provide excellent fire support on these advancing troops here. Let's get this one in this village. What else we got? Mortar, mortar team here. It's quite far back. I'm tempted to move him closer into this village here, actually. So what do we got here? Trucks. Those trucks were empty. Yep. All right. These trucks are empty. Going to move them down here in the safe area, so he can't plot artillery on them. Going to leave those trucks there. We've got an HQ here. Going to leave him there. Right. This Panzer II platoon here. Fresh platoon here. Right. This is got some tempting targets here. He's moving. That gun could have opportunity to fire. And those field guns. It looks like a light field gun, but they could be dangerous for these lightly armored tanks. I'm kind of tempted to move this panzer up here, actually, and assault this this whole platoon of trucks moving down this road. It's a very tempting target. Okay, these panzers do have only assault value of three, but these trucks have very almost no defense versus uh, an assault. But it could also be dangerous. Could have some anti-tank guns I haven't spotted here. But we're going to go for it. We're going to be aggressive here. So moving one step up. Okay, no one fired here. Let's keep moving here. This is dangerous. If that gun has opportunity to fire, these tanks are in trouble. Let's try it. They made it. Right. We're going to just charge this whole tank to straight past here and assault these uh, lorry infantry here. Look at that. Right. Let's go. Hand grenade. Boom! Wow, look at that! That was amazing. 
that complete tank platoon of five Panzer twos went up and just totally laid it down on that advancing lorry infantry undefended just totally being slaughtered there by a complete tank platoon and you can have a look with the losses there let's have a look he lost nine trucks and 18 rifle platoons wow heavy losses there that was a slaughter right there that was amazing so that's one key aspect of this game is finding your opportunities and taking them so wow look at that that was a massive blow to him he lost almost a whole infantry company there just slaughtered right this tank's pretty exposed here now let's see where he can move i'm gonna move him down one step i'm gonna be facing the enemy here well done that was amazing right we have this um motorcycle platoon here let's see if they can move into dismount one step that's good right they're gonna jump off the bikes here we have uh, some infantry support for that tank there All right, what do we got here uh, hq unit he is part of what all the way over there right so we're gonna have to move this hq closer let's get him there right what is, what is this this is um headquarters yeah i guess they could move maybe up here that would be enough do we have another one here they're supplying that uh, infantry company there they should move up it's only battalion size we do have another battalion headquarters here that's for the, for the tanks and definitely need to get this one up that's why they're running out of ammunition because they're out of I don't, I'm not having any uh, command range to resupply ammunition. But these guys here, regimental. Let's have a look at their command range here. It's pretty good. I think they could actually stay there for. Uh, actually, I want to move them up a little bit. But these uh, recon bikes here, they're going to start moving up here. Maybe get them these heights and see if they can spot anything. Alright. That was a very good round for me. Took out a lot of his attack force that. Uh, so that's good to have uh, these recon and fast moving targets and uh, units are good to move behind enemy lines and quickly find opportunities and uh, just wreak havoc basically. So the next target for this tank will probably be this artillery setup here. He probably has a couple of infantry guns here. So we're going to be moving and assaulting that. We'll see what that machine gun unit does. Right, so let's see what we can fire upon here. We do have a lot of fire here. So this motorcycle platoon here. Right, these obviously these anti-tank guns are a problem for my tanks. Now I know they're looking pretty light. They're probably the standard 45 millimeter anti-tank gun that the Russians were using at this time of the war. So at this range, uh, I think my tanks are pretty safe. But still, they're they're dangerous. We're gonna have to take them out. So they're gonna be fired. This this motorcycle squad is gonna fire at that uh, just deployed anti-tank guns. Right, they got reduced by one and disrupted. So one uh, anti-tank gun was taken out there. Right, what else we got? We got rockets down here. We're going to lay down some heavy barrages. But this Panzer platoon here, he's got uh, low ammo, but it's going to be firing at something. So he's got one gun left there. Let's fire at this gun here. Okay, got disrupted. I'm going to leave the opportunity to fire on that tank as he's advancing. Right, rockets. We got this tank here. It's got low ammunition as well, unfortunately. So let's fire at that gun again. Okay, got eliminated. Boom! Just took it out. Got a, another shot there for opportunity. We got the rockets there. Okay, all units considered. Good job. So let's see what happened to these units here. Maybe I can move some of these stuff. I can. There's no, no point in them sitting there. So that is uh, pans. That was the damage to pans platoon there. I'm gonna move them into this machine guns here get them up to the front. This is my command tank. Um, I'm going to move them up one step there, I think. Got some infantry here. They assaulted, so they can't move there. Okay. Good stuff. Let's look at the artillery here. Then We got rockets to fire. So let's see here. Wow. Look at all this. So let's, stay, let's lay down some rocket fire on this advancing troops here. He's got uh, engineers there. So he's probably going to be moving down here. Laid some rockets here. 
Let's put some rockets here, maybe. Let's anticipate his moves. Could place rockets on these guns, actually. Let's do that. What else he's got? He's got loads of stuff advancing here. Maybe we should try and um, place a rocket fire here as well. Let's see how that goes. Right, so end the turn. Okay, here comes the Russian artillery. He knows where I am now, so he's going to stop. He's plotting artillery too. Okay, he's firing with those anti-tank guns at those uh, at motorcycle platoon there. They have high defense. Okay, that machine gun decided to attack my... Um, one of my Panzer four platoons fired at it. Right. Okay, so those trucks actually move further than I expected. Okay. Should one I was tempted to put a, a barrage here actually. Okay, those Panzer fours are getting some good opportunity fires there, causing casualties. I got an armored car here. Those engineers are moving straight down there. Okay, he's got even more anti-tank guns he's deploying here. He's got a lot of armored cars. Probably some sort of recon elements of the... Uh, the recon uh, battalion or something with the infantry and armor support he's got something moving into these woods here he's retreating with his trucks there so that armored car opened fire that armored car is attacking that panzer group there Five headquarters are unable. Three units are low on ammo. I need to get my HQs up. All right, so have a look at the barrages here. Boom. Ooh, yeah, those rockets just took out that. Look at the... Ooh, they got some casualties there. Wow. Yeah, those rockets are deadly. Fortunately, that just missed there. Ooh, eliminated. Took out a lot of his guns there. All right, we're doing good here. Let's have a look at the stats. Status. Strength. Yeah, he's took, he's taking some heavy losses now. He's gone. Uh, he's lost a platoon of 50 millimeter mortars there. He's lost three um, 76 infantry guns, four anti-tank guns. All those that were killed in that assault. We've only lost one Panzer so far, so we're doing very good here. Let's have a look at the victory a little fast here. Yeah, well, look at the points here. 282. So uh, look at these supply losses there. Wow. Okay, so we're we're slaughtering him at the moment. Right, so he's moving up here. He's actually got one loaded truck here. That's a very tempting target there. Okay, so let's have a look first. Who can fire if I want to do it before I move? So let's see. This rifle platoon here. Let's see what he can see here. This motorcycles, they're out of range, of course. They can lay down some fire here. Something. He's got dismounted infantry here. Uh, these engineers are moving up there. They should maybe lay some fire on that truck that's loaded with infantry. Wow, they just destroyed that uh, column of trucks there. Very good firing there. I'm going to leave him a platoon to fire. Right, this Panzer uh, 4 platoon, let's see. He's got advancing infantry here. You can also spot these guns. Hmm. I'm going to lay down some fire on these advancing infantry squads here. Right, took two, two casualties there, so a lot of guys would kill there. Right, this machine gun is going to open up. No effect. Got no effect. Okay, unfortunately nothing happened there. Got some bad results there. Right, rocket artillery here. All right, got a Panzer IV platoon. These are all, all my tanks are running low on ammo because they're out of uh, supply. Right, let's start firing at this advancing uh, engineer unit here. Oh, we can actually start firing at these guns. Why not? Right, we took out a platoon there. Boom, or a section. Uh, mortars there. Yeah, rockets. Okay, we got this here. Let's fire at this advancing uh, engineer unit. They retreated. My command tank. Uh, 
can actually spot the, these units over here. Could lay some fire on that machine gun unit there. No effect. Ouch! So those field guns actually got an opportunity to fire, to fire those tanks, but nothing happened. Right, let's see here. This Panzer IV here. Oh, I mean Panzer II. So they're faced with some armored cars here and machine gun units. So they are going to actually fire at these armored cars. Okay, they took out an armored car there. Let's lay some fire on this machine gun as well. Okay, they took it with cash and they're running away, so that's good. That armored car is disrupted. So they're holding the line there. All units considered. Okay, let's start moving some troops then. Let's see what we got here. We got this company moving up. So his infantry is getting close now. We need to dismount. So maybe they can move into this village and dismount here. Yep, good job. Let's get the other ones up there. It's very close here though. Trucks could be in danger. But I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna move this truck in here. Dismount that. That's a machine gun unit. Yeah, let's get these in here. Might take some casualties there from my trucks. But this infantry here is going to capture that objective and move into this village here. So now we got that objective. Empty trucks are going to move to the rear. This truck is loaded. It's got my mortars. Let's see. A good spot we'll probably deploy them in this village here. So let's do that. Get some mortars there. This truck can move back. Let's get these flak guns up. I'm going to get them into that village as well. This machine gun, you definitely want to get him up there. This truck here. Oh no! Oh, I thought it was my truck. I just moved my uh, tank guns away. Oh well, I'm gonna have to move them up next turn. Okay, so let's see here. We gotta capture this here. And uh, I think I'm gonna move them back into that rough. That's a good defense there. Alright, so they fired. Now, obviously. If you leave your unit stationary and not move them, uh, their chances are that he has plotted artillery on some of these positions. So, um, so if you have the option, if you want to move, you should do it. So this, these guys are pretty exposed here. I think I want to start moving them back a bit. This Panzer will stay put. Yeah, they're going to stay in this defensive area here. These mortars. Think of actually moving them up one step. All right, what have we got here? Panzers there. I might want to move this command tank actually up to the, in this village as well. I right, got all this infantry here, so let's get them to the front lines here, manning these villages. We've got some good setup there now. All these trucks are going to stay in the back here. Okay, this headquarters unit is part of what? That's a battalion. Let's look at the command range there. I think they're out of Yeah, they're going to need to move up. They're going to have to move. So let's get them uh, down here, I guess. Right, these trucks are going to stay there. There's another command unit there. going to move them into this village here. Right, this Panzer Force, uh, Panzer 2 is going to stay there. This uh, squad is going to move up here, actually. Right, what's this? I can actually, that's a regimental headquarters, gonna leave him there. Battalion, gonna move up. Right, these bikes here, let's see, he's got stuff here. Let's get him on this ridge here. Let's see what they can see here. A decent view here. If they move along this ridge here, we're gonna have some good uh, view of what he's got in this general area. Fortunately, I don't have any artillery that can reach this far. But uh, these trucks are loaded. You can see that helmet there. They they are carrying something. That is also carrying something. He's probably got some infantry here to uh, defend this objective here. We'll see. Okay, this uh, can stay there for now. Okay, wow. Heavy action going on here. So let's have a nice scroll here. See if anybody can fire. No, okay. That's good. Let's have a look at the artillery then. So we got these rockets here. We can fire again. Right, so we're gonna put some rocket fire here at least on that on those anti-tank guns there. 
And uh, let's put some more rockets on these guns. Because these mortars, where are they? Yeah, they can't reach that far. I'm going to put some um, mortar fire here. And let's see, he's got infantry here. Could be moving into this village here. So put some rockets there. Let's see what else. He's got some mortars here. Let's put some rocket fire there. And this squad here could maybe move in here. Let's put some rockets there. And let's put some rockets here, I guess. Let's put some barrages all over this place here. Right, end the turn. Here comes the uh, Russian artillery face. So that mortar was actually plotted. He fired here. He's laying down smoke there. Yeah, he wants to cover my uh, tanks there. Okay, so his infantry is opening up here. Tanks getting opportunity fires. That armored car is still attacking that. Uh, my light panzers there. He has more opportunity fires on his cars there. Not causing any casualties. Okay, he moved up there. Obviously getting some shots on those advancing cars there, but... Okay, he's deploying some more guns there. Okay, we captured that objective. It's being very daring with those armored cars. That is some leaders. He's moving some leaders there. Okay. He's attacking my infantry with that armored car there. Okay. So let's have a look at the barrages. Boom. Okay, he moved out. No effect on those guns this time. It seems like he uh, moved everything out of my artillery zone here. Right, those mortars were destroyed there. Right, turn 13, okay. Any arrived units? No. You can actually uh, go into here, status, and look at... No, a reinforced schedule. Now I have no more units arriving for this battle. I have all my units on board. So, okay. Right, so he's attacking here. He's moving up. Uh, his, his armored car is there. He's got his engineers. Some infantry here. Machine guns. Right, so let's go into fire here and see who can lay down some good fire. Right, these SS motorized platoons are ready. So they should lay down some... they got some good firepower here. Let's fire at that machine gun unit. Right, he retreated. Okay, this machine gun unit here. Lay down some fire as well. Got eliminated there. Okay, good stuff. Motors. I can either plot them or I can use direct fire. Let's see here. I could use some direct motor fire on this on these engineers actually. They took casualties there. Two casualties. Wow, they and retreating, so they've taken some heavy casualties there. They were advancing on this open ground in snows and I plotted some direct fire on them. So let's have a look. This machine gun unit can actually fire on this squad here. I do want to put them in this village though. So I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna go to the next unit. Those AA guns can also fire. I want to get them closer up though. Right, this rifle squad is right next to this. Attack 14, so that's pretty deadly fire there. Let's do it. Right, he just retreated. Didn't take any casualties, so he was lucky there. But right, this motorcycle platoon here. Hmm. I'm actually gonna move them to recapture that objective, I think. So let's have a look at these pants force here. Okay, this one is it's now resupplied, so that's good. You can attack that car. It only has attack power two. It's pretty low. I'm gonna lay. Uh, I'm gonna fire at this infantry with these tanks. Cause casualties. Yeah, he retreated there. Machine guns. Let's see. They can reach pretty far here. Let's lay down some machine gun fire on that infantry squads there. Okay, they retreated. 
Taking casualties. This machine guns can actually fire three times per turn. That shows the uh, fire rate of these MGs. The uh, Germans have very good, very good machine guns. And they have a very high rate of fire. So, Okay, what we got? A motorized rifle section here. Platoon. Uh, I think I might actually start it assaulting northwards here. This tank... Oh, that anti-tank gun looks like a promising target. Okay, took, a, took an anti-tank gun out there. Mortars, I'm gonna plop them. With this infantry here, see they only have attack two versus hard targets. So at this stage of the war, the infantry was not that effective versus armor. That was before better anti-tank weapons were invented, like the Panzer Faust and stuff like that. Right, so I'm not gonna fire. Let's see, is he disrupted? No, he's not. So. An assault. I'm gonna fire with my tanks on this armored car here. Boom. Okay, no effect with my command tank there. Let's see. This platoon here. I should try it. Okay, we took out an armored car there. I have no idea how many he has in these platoons, but took one out there. And uh, he's actually disrupted now. That's good. Let's see what else I can do. This. He laid smoke here. That means. All incoming fire is uh, firepower is halved, and also outgoing firepower is halved. So um, I'm going to be moving this one. I think uh, I'm going to start assaulting. Take take that uh, artillery position. I think right, these guys, this motorcycle squad, can actually spot the mortar team moving in these woods, and they're going to fire here. Right, two uh, reduced by two. So they took some heavy casualties in that mortar mortar squad there. Okay, that's all my units that can fire. So let's have a look. Start moving moving units here. What do we got? This is a fresh platoon of infantry. They're going to take this orchard here. These trucks are going to move in the, in the rear. What else I got? Truck there. Right. This infantry here could actually take this village. Why not? Get these trucks back. Machine gun will also move into this village here. Okay, those trucks are gonna move back. Right, let's get these machine guns into this village here. Good defense. And those AA guns too. Right, these trucks here are just gonna move south. Not, I don't need them anymore. Right, this anti-tank gun I accidentally moved. Let's get him on this road here. Right, let's do, I'm gonna leave that squad there. That's good. He's got some opportunity to fire. Trucks here. Right, this infantry here. Hmm, I'm gonna leave them there, I think. Uh, so this motorcycle platoon will capture this. Now they can do an assault here, actually, because that unit is disrupted. So if I s assault from this direction, that inf that motorcycle platoon, I have this fresh squad here. They also will assault here. So infantry will will assault this these disrupted armored cars from two directions. Let's see what happens here. Boom. No effect. Yeah, this is the thing I have. Uh, optional rules, extreme assault. That means he actually put up a defense here. So, um, it's, it's harder. So he managed to withstand that assault there. Lucky for him. Okay, what else we got here? These panzers. Leave them there for one more turn, I think. This infantry here. It's interesting. I'm going to leave them there, actually. Just uh, see if he moves up any more stuff before I counterattack here. Right, so I've got all these headquarters. Yeah, this needs actually to move up. This is battalion headquarters. So let's see. Now they already assaulted there, so these tanks are just gonna stay put. What else we got here? Trucks. Or, okay, what's this? Battalion headquarters. Um, this part of that. Actually, should move them up a bit. Um, maybe here. So there, with a range there. That's a good spot. Probably will leave that uh, there now. Trucks. That corpse headquarters is standing there. Right. Panzer II platoon here. Let's see what we can do. So he is actually disrupted here. I could do an assault. Assault these armored cars with this tank platoon here. Or I could try and assault those guns. Let's go for the assault here and see what happens. 
Right, he, he got disrupted, so uh, nothing happened there. I'm just going to leave that there. These guys are going to stay put. Battalion. It's my, for my tanks. I really need to move them up closer. I'm going to move them here. Get them in the in, in command range there. This regimental is probably okay here. Let's check the command range. Yeah, it's got uh, its units within command range. So I'm just going to leave that there. Right. Let's have a look at these. Let's see if I can move them a bit and dismount this infantry here. He's got a lot of stuff here, though. They don't have, they don't stand a chance against uh, all that infantry there. Let's move them up one step here. Maybe even here. And let's just dismount them here. That headquarters is going to stay there. All right, good stuff. Let's see if anybody can fire here. I think I did all my fires. Uh, yeah, actually, this, uh, this squad here can fire, so might as well engage one of these units here. Yeah, they're both at strength four, so they caused a casualty there. That was good shooting. And this here could also fire. Let's fire at these guys, I guess. Yeah, he took a casualty there. These mortars, yeah, gonna be plotting them. So this rifles, they failed their assault there. They could fire at this squad, actually. Right, he took another casualty there. So he is, uh, now I can actually see how many, he's got only strength two and they're disrupted. So they have taken, uh, they only have like 20 men, 10 to 15 men left in that platoon there. So they've taken heavy casualties there. Right. So that panzer can actually fire. Let's just fire these guns, I guess. Okay, no effect. Pretty low attack there. Okay, good stuff. Artillery. Let's have a look here. Right, mortars. Got this platoon here. Could put some mortars in this armored car here. Or I could put some mortars uh, on these anti-tank guns. Let's put some mortar fire here. Why not on these advancing? cars and just get some rocket fire on this these anti-tank guns here um, yeah let's put uh, let's put some rocket fire there all right and the turn oh right, here comes the Russian artillery face Ooh, he attacked that um, tank there with some mortars nothing happened okay he's firing he's taking constant casualties there my firepower versus his infantry is vastly superior. Okay, we took out an armored car there. It got disrupted. Okay, that anti-tank gun can actually re reach that squad there. Okay, we took it out. Okay, so the smoke cleared here, so he's attacking my tank there. We're okay. okay. So he's got a machine gun unit here. Fired back there. He's got a machine gun here. That could be dangerous for my infantry. Okay, so he's advancing. He's got more armored cars here. So we're turn 13 now. Battle's almost over, so these battles are actually quite quick in this game. Uh, now I've been talking a lot, showing a lot of stuff, so obviously the, the, the turns take a lot longer, but it's actually a pretty fast uh, moving game if you keep it at battalion level. So um, it's always fun. Okay, he's dismounted a whole company of infantry here. Yeah, and he's got armored cars here as well. I need support. Might have to, have to shift some tanks to that area. Don't have the time though. Okay, we got some uh, unable some HQs here. Let's have a look at the artillery barrages. Mortars attacking those armored cars there. No effect. Boom! Rockets hitting those armored cars there. Got disrupted. So I didn't have that much artillery available with that turn. All right, so we're holding these objectives here. We got them all. The only one left is this one here. And uh, don't have any forces here. Could start taking this panzer um, 
company and start moving them in this general direction just to, to uh, capture that could try that but uh, what have I got I've got five more turns maybe I can do it we shall see so this was turn uh, 14 yeah all right so actually gonna uh, end the battle here this video I'm gonna pick up the action in the next I'll try to keep my videos a bit shorter <laughs> around 40 minutes it's, I think it's enough so uh, thanks for watching we'll pick up the action in the next we probably will finish the battle in the next video so uh, see you later